are we looking on ice, Ryan? Do we got any ice up in front of us or no? We're good? Nah, I'll be good. What is going on, guys? Today we are back with another video. It was a gorgeous day out. We actually filmed a video today, but uh, there was a million people out here, wasn't there? There was a lot of people out here all day long, and they were all catching fish. Yeah. So it was awesome. <laughs> Tonight we are in the old walleye killer. 14 feet of walleye catching aluminum. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're in Ryan's <laughs> boat. <laughs> we're in Ryan's boat tonight because I'm still waiting on rod holders to get here for my boat, believe it or not. But Ryan has rod holders. So we got some trolling rods in here. We got some trolling baits in here. We're going to do one of my absolute favorite patterns, doing some shallow water nighttime trolling. We'll go into a little bit about what we're doing, but tonight's kind of a trial run. We hope to kind of catch a few fish tonight. I think my tripod's off kilter, but I can't see because the light's so bright. <laughs> it's very bright. But uh, yeah, we're hoping to, you know, obviously do some night trolling, catch some fish. One of my absolute favorite ways to catch fish this time of year in the springtime period. So it's me, we got Ryan, we got Surly. We're going to drop some planer boards back, get some line set, and hopefully catch some walleyes tonight. So stay tuned. Should be a quick, fun little video. And uh, let's hope we stick a big fish. So stay tuned. Let's get it going on. Catch some fish. All right, guys, fish number one of the night, Ryan. My first fish trolling of the year. This is awesome. Do you leave the clicker on with the whole time you reel it in or no? Uh, normally, no. Generally frowned upon? But let's do it. Let's do it for the views. All right. For the viewers. You guys right. enjoy that? All right. <laughs> too much, too much. Now, Ryan has the toughest job here because he's staring right at just this unbelievably bright light. Very bright light. And he's got to somehow manage to drive the boat. I have the easy job of just literally reeling fish in. So my job's gonna be much easier. Thank goodness we have Navi lights, so yeah. everybody's in our way. We'll get the board off. Oh, we have a double. Do we really? Yeah. What side, Ryan? Oh, oh, look at that. We're doubled up, Ryan. We're doubled up. Now I really don't know what to do. Feels good, Ryan, but I have nothing to base it off of because this is my first fish I've caught. This is my oh, first I'm fish. floating them. I'm floating them. Come on in, buddy. Come on in. Come on in. It just feels good to be doing it. I don't think it got into this one, so... There we go. Look at that. First night trolling fish of the year. You still hooked up, Ryan? Yep. And when it happens, it happens. We're going to get this fish off real quick. Yeah, so did mine, but it's obviously... Mine's obviously not that heavy. Oh, treble hooks, Ryan. Treble hooks. Get out of there. There we go. Small dinker for the first one of the year. Do you want me to take it or do you want yeah, to just... Okay. I have to take it. I gotta, I gotta drive here. Alright. Well, here we go. Here's number two. Hopefully this footage is coming through alright for you guys. I like the double though, Ryan, huh? Dude, I know. Need to teach Surly how to clip a board off. Surly, you think you're any help at this? This one's so Surly. far off to the side, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets in that line. No, I got him inside of it. Nice, nice dude. Fish number two <laughs> of the night here. Teamwork makes the dream work when you're night trolling. One guy drives the boat, Ryan. One guy reels the fish in, me tonight. What do we got here? Oh, it's a nice walleye. It's a nice walleye. Can you guys see that at all in the, in the headlight light? I'm just going to grab him because I don't even want to mess with the net right now. I think he's got to be hooked pretty good. Nothing wrong with that, huh, Ryan? Nothing wrong with that. Oh, he's all angry. Don't catch another one yet, Ryan. It's a nice fish, huh? It's a nice little trunker. All right, here we go. Getting it done in the little walleye assassin, the 14 foot. <laughs> what year is this boat, Ryan? It's an 87. The 87 gets it done. Look at that. Beautiful wall. I'm sure he's really shiny in the light, but we'll take him all night long like that. We'll let him go. Back he goes. Give me some, dude. It's pretty cool, huh? I mean, you know, you spend all, your whole spring jig fishing, and then you see a couple planer boards go back at night. There's nothing better than watching boards drop after the sun goes down. All right, guys. I think we might have another one on here, Ryan. 
I just saw it dip a little bit. I just saw it dip a little bit. It's either that or we got a big breed or something. What do you think here? I hope it's a walleye. I think it is a walleye. I think it is a walleye. Oh, it is a fish, Ryan. It's small, though. It's really small. But it's still a fish. It almost seems like it's going to be a perch. But it's not a perch. Well, there we go. This is not, I would say, the size you're normally catching. But we're... We're definitely a little bit early on this, and you guys are just gonna see us do a million more hours of this kind of bite. So we kind of figured we'd just do a little trial run tonight. And there we go. Small walleye right there. Back he goes on the suspending stick bait. All right, guys, are we rolling? Oh yeah, we're rolling it's so bright you just almost can't even tell if it's rolling, Ryan. Well. We have another fish on here. It feels like probably our best one of the night, Ryan. Either that or it's going to be like super cheek hooked. What are you thinking? Uh, oh, I'm always going to hope it's the best of the night. Yeah, the best of the night so far. I'm, I'm going to hear you yell, get the net. We might end up in some trouble on this rod. The old one man trolling show here on the rods. Ryan's driving. Heavy, and I got a feeling he's hanging way outside. I'm gonna fold my rod down for ease of grabbing the board here, Ryan. It's a nice little feature. Pro tip. Pro tip, collapse your telescopic. It's heavy, dude. It's good. It's definitely heavy. Like, it's tussling back there. I'd like to see another one drive. Gosh, dude, it is heavy, and it's back there. You want me to try to it? You that line is taut, dude. Ryan, I'm gonna flip my headlight up a little bit. Surly standing in the net. So. We'll see if we can see him here. Oh, yeah, nice fish. It's a pike. No, it's not. Told you. What? Or it's musky. a little musky. Yeah, I, I knew I was right, Ryan. It's a little musky. Ah. He's got our other bait, too. Decent. That looks like a disaster, doesn't it? Yeah. You guys see that all right? A little. Green Bay Muskie right there. Nothing I'm like just that. dreading grabbing them because this just looks like a tangle, doesn't it? Here. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Alright, see you, dude. <laughs> it's rolling back. There she there goes. There he goes. Well, we didn't want to bring in the boat because it was just going to be a disaster if that happened, but in fact, it's already a disaster because muskies like to go sideways. All right, guys, so you know, this whole night trolling thing, it's really pretty simple, and we'll go into a lot more detail of it um, kind of as we start doing this a bunch more. Like I said, this is just kind of a fun little trial run tonight. But basically, Ryan, flatline trolling, shallow water, right? What are your speeds? Uh, 0.7 to 1.1 right now. 0.7 to 1.1, 1, 1. and we're also in a river and we're dealing with current. So whenever you're dealing with current in a river system, troll into the current. And the reason you want to troll into the current is because at a slower speed, your bait's going to have more action. So you can troll a lot of times really slow. Like if you put your bait just in a regular lake without current and go 0.7, it looks like absolutely nothing's happening. When we're trolling into the current, obviously that bait's still moving. And you can just imagine that bait's just barely down there as we're hardly moving forward. So it's a super slow presentation when you got water temps that are in this mid 30 degree range like right now. And we're flatline trolling, so we're running all really shallow water. And a lot of times what you see happen, whether you're fishing a lake or a river, is the fish might be deeper all day or on some kind of deeper edge. And as you know, day turns into night, these fish will slide up on some of these real shallow flats this time of year. And we're just fishing right on this top lip. You can just imagine this channel comes up, hits that top lip and it flattens up. Out. we're fishing right on top of that top lip so we're running everything basically you know our shallowest line might be in five our deepest one might be in 10 12 feet so we're kind of staggering our spread kind of like that and fishing a lot of suspending minnow baits so the dive curve is pretty simple you know most of the time you're sending out anywhere from 40 feet of line to like 60 70 feet of line on a lot of these baits and that's kind of the program for the most part and we're just you know stacking these boards obviously you know we got 
in Wisconsin, so we got three lines of guy, me and Ryan. Unfortunately, Surly doesn't get any lines because he's a dog, but we got three lines on this side, three lines on this side, and running the board lights, and we'll go into all that stuff, down, you know, and probably in a future video. But it really is a pretty simple trolling pattern. The only thing difficult about, part about it is that it's at night, so everything's, you know, just a little bit harder to do. But as long as you got one guy like Ryan looking at the graph, looking at the side imaging, making sure we're following that lip to a T, staying right where we want to be, not getting too shallow, not getting too deep, and keeping us in a straight line at the right speed, and then me running the spread, reeling in the fish, setting boards out, um, we're pretty much good. So it's a pretty simple program, and like I said, we'll do this a whole bunch of times this spring and go to it, into it a whole bunch more detail and little things that ultimately catch you more fish and baits and lines and, and our light systems and stuff like that. But that's pretty much what we're doing tonight. All right, guys, we have another fish on. Hoping not a muskie. It looks like it's not a muskie, though, so I think we're all right. I love it. I love watching the boards go back in the dark. Fish it's more yeah it's kind of like that it's almost as fun as like feeling a jig get popped some people just have no appreciation for trolling it's kind of like a, a fine piece of art ryan which i personally have no appreciation for <laughs> <laughs> yeah but there's definitely it is definitely a very effective way to fish it's up on top already yeah, that's weird. sometimes big fish do that though I'm gonna break it down, break the rod down here. A little debris on the board. A little bit of junk on the board, that's all right. Get them popped off. Hopefully this light's all right. I've had good luck filming at night with this light, but I know things get kind of reflecty and whatnot, but. Hey, that light's really good at it. Blinding you? Yes. <laughs> oh, he's going way over there now. He's going way over there. I'm gonna keep him coming right up the middle. Keep him coming right up the middle. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Nice and easy now. I'm gonna keep you surfing. Keep you surfing. I'm gonna go for a flip. Oh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Nice walleye right there. Heat the bait pretty good. Hold back of it's in the mouth. I'll get them popped off here. Hook good. And I know this color just looks absolutely ridiculously ugly, but man, is it effective down here. There we go, not big. Another nice nighttime walleye right there though. Let's let him go. Do it again, I like it. This is kind of like the trial run of night trolling. We're gonna be doing a lot of this and we'll be catching a lot larger fish running this pattern. This is just kind of the first night and it was so nice out. I fished and filmed all day and I was like, Ryan, we should go out and do it again. So here we are. All right, guys, we are hooked up, and I think we're hooked up on two fish, Ryan. What do you yeah. think? That's what it looks like to me. It was pretty cool. They both went back. Yeah, it was kind of a simultaneous board drop back right there, which you see a lot kind of when you go through a, a decent pot of fish. You want this one? Can you drive and reel? Yeah, I can drive and reel. There you go. I'll give you the short stubby. I don't think he's real big. Oh, just popped off. Lost that one? Yeah. This one seems like it might be heavier. Well, even if we're one of two, we'll make do with that. Nice and slow. I don't know, it feels like there's something good going on. Slowly swing that board up. Looks like a little bit tighter line, huh? You know when the planer board's like up in the air, tight to the fish, it's generally something with at least a little bit of weight on there. He's going back there. Keep the rod loaded. Slow and steady. I'm just gonna keep it on course here. Yeah, keep me, keep me in the fish, Ryan. I'm trying, I'm trying to do my best. Now he's going over this way. Just keep him cruising in. Actually, he's not that big. He's hooked weird, isn't he? What do we got going on here? Oh, he's not too shabby. He's not too shabby of a fish. I'll try my best not to lose him here. I thought I was going to lose him right there. <laughs> Come here, buddy. We'll just flip you in real quick. We got him. There we go. Look at that. Another beautiful walleye right there. We'll show you guys on the front camera here in a second. There we go. Look at that, the nighttime 
walleye bite. Absolutely love it. Less people, still a ton of fish in the system. Getting a few of them to bite. It'll get a lot better than this, but there we go. See you later, dude. All right, guys, well, that is gonna do it for today's video. I appreciate you guys watching this one. Quick little rundown, did not catch a lot of fish, did not catch anything super big, but on a night that's this night, it's tough to really have a bad time. And you guys, are, like I always say in this video, you guys are gonna see us do this a whole bunch, and this is just kind of the first time. Ryan, how much do you like night trolling? Uh, it's almost my favorite. I know. Right behind uh, Rip and Wraps. So. Right behind Rip and Wraps. This is Ryan's favorite way to fish in the spring. And for good reason, because it just historically produces a lot of big fish this time of year. And that's why we're going to do it, whether we're here, whether we're out in the lake, kind of no matter whether we're in northern Wisconsin, once that finally opens up. Killer way to fish. We'll go into a bunch more detail in future videos. But figured as long as we're out here giving it a little rundown today, might as well film it. So I appreciate you guys watching this one. It's late now. I got to go home tonight and edit at least one video, maybe two videos tonight, and then get up right early and do it all again tomorrow so i appreciate you guys watching this if you guys are not yet please subscribe stay tuned for more content we'll see you next time